In this video, we're gonna go over all the essential steps that you need to do to successfully live stream Facebook Live. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I wanna go through the very basic essentials to get started on Facebook Live. I'm not talking about the hardware, I'm talking about all the settings that you need to do to get going with Facebook Live. So this is real simple. This works on your personal channel, on your church's channel, or if you're in a group, it works the exact same way. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, I am here on my church's page and this is how simple we're gonna do this. So the very first thing, you're gonna go ahead and hit here on live. Now, I'm gonna talk about is if you were doing this with OBS or something like that, um, if you're hooking up everything with a webcam on your computer, I would just use the used camera right here. So this is all for vMix, um, OBS, any of those external programs to run. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to use stream key and I am going to change mine, obviously here. Um, so y'all don't see this, but this is the key that you're gonna copy and this is what gives the authentication for OBS or whatever streaming program that you're using to go here. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now I'm gonna bring open OBS here. All right, so I have OBS right here. So we're gonna go into settings, stream, and we're gonna pick Facebook from here. Now, let me specifically call this out. Because Facebook is a popular place to live stream, this server URL is not needed because it's built into the program. Now, that's OBS. Now, there are, vMix is the same way that you don't need to put it in, but if you're using some other brand that is software that's not linked, this is the web address that your video is going to. The stream key is the key to allow you to get onto it. So just letting you know, please don't confuse those two as well. Because inside of here, if you use this server URL, and you try and paste that in here, your stream will not work. It needs the stream key. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we'll come in here and paste it. Now you can't see it, but you can always hit the show button and you can at least compare. It is a long string. I like to compare the first couple of letters with the last couple of letters just to match to see if it's okay and it is, all right? So now all you have to do is now that we got this set, we can okay. And now I'm just gonna start streaming here. But actually, before I do that, let me go back in here and I wanna make one change because I don't want this to go out. We just finished church, so I don't wanna <laughs> scare people with this. So under here, let's go through the settings here. Persistent key, that means this key does not change, so you can always use the same one. That saves a lot of time. But like I said, even though it says it's persistent, please just make sure you eyeball it to make sure it's the same, because one is a long string. So if something changes, you might not notice it, but just be aware that sometimes you need to check. All right, so now under, let's go back to the top because Facebook has made some changes. If you ever want to go directly to your stream, now they have the link at the top that you can share that and anytime you go live, it will go show up here. Um, so you can always share that if you want. All right, now under streaming, there's a couple of settings that you need to think through. Here, end live stream when stream stops. It depends. if. This setting, if your connection drops for a second, um, it will consider your stream over. You might want to be careful with that. Um, since I'm going through a proxy with Vimeo, I don't really worry about that. If you wanted to copy the code and put it on your website, here's the code where you would copy that and put it, that's HTML code that you can post there. Also, this other setting, unpublish after your live video ends. I normally have this set for my church because we edit our video and then put up then a, an abridged version of it outside of live. But right now, because of all the things going on, I just let it stay up because we're only doing the sermon, which is what we normally edit. 
All right, so now let's go to viewing. Allow viewers to rewind, that is up to them. I mean, it just allows, because if you don't have that, you people pick up right where you are live and they can't go back. So it's fine to keep that on. Um, you can add host badges if you want to. I really haven't used that. It just marks who's the admin and stuff like that. Um, again, it's only two of us this right now and we all go through the same account, so it doesn't really matter. All right, um, and like I said, this is the, the live link, which is the same up here, and that's brand new. And that's mainly it. Now, all these other ones we're not gonna worry about right now. If you're streaming from your tablet or phone, this goes right here automatically. All right, now it looks like they have some other stuff here. Test broadcast can only be seen by admins or editors of the page. So I'm gonna check this off right now because I don't want this to go out to anybody. All right, so we've marked that off and the page kind of flipped. So I'm just gonna copy my code one more time just to make sure everything is good. Go back here in our stream, select all. We're gonna paste it, okay. And let's go over some settings real quick. Well, we just changed it to audience. So we'll go back over that. All right, so let's start streaming. And now here's our live video that we can stroll up here. So hello, we're live. Hello, we're live. <laughs> All right, so that's how that's going. And let's see what other stuff we got here. So now, how this is going right now, and I'm in the way, there's actually a stream button. Let me move myself out of the way here. Right now, just like with your regular live, I can start a test right now. And again, only the admins are gonna see it. So pretty much only me right now can see this but this is actually live. Now, be careful when you do this because sometimes inside of your stream, it can say you're streaming, but you have to hit go live before everybody can see that. That is a setting that you need to look through to check that out. And I let's end this and let's make sure we're going to the same place. Delete this because I don't really need that. Yes back to our stream again so we're all the way back let's do it all over again live now let's look under some other stuff we didn't look from so we have audience settings so this is kind of with the COPPA stuff say do you want this to be um, age appropriate or whatever public um, things like that should um, restrict to selected locations you would know that um, if you have any issues with that. Oh, and um, I was looking at the wrong one. So I'm still streaming, so it picked up because the key is the same. I was wondering why my video showed up over here. But as you can see, the video is coming in. I can see it, but no one else can. And you need to go live before it's published to everybody else. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Really straightforward. Again, if I did this in Vimeo, let's go ahead. I mean, not Vimeo. If I did this in um, Vmix, let's go ahead and stop this. And we're going to open up Vmix and do the exact same thing. This isn't going to change. We just got to make sure the stream key is over here. Now let's add some components here real quick. So I'm here. Now under here, I would go to stream. Let's hit the gear. And now they allow, vMix allows you to go to three places at the same time, as long as your computer is fast enough to handle that. So I'm gonna come over here to stream number two and I will pick Facebook. Now this one is did it different. Now you can come in here and put your account settings in here or just log into your account and it will copy that information over and I was in full screen. All right, so now I am logged in. Let's go back to vMix. And as you can see, it pulled my account. So now I can say where do I want this to stream to, and it is limiting what I'm streaming because I have a bunch of accounts that I have um, that I'm managing over. So for me, this isn't really ideal. I need to come in here and manually put my stuff in. So, but if you only have one page, like I have my business page and a bunch of other ones, that's easy. 
but for me like I said I have multiple pages that won't work so what I'm gonna do is come in here to a custom RTMP server and this is where I would copy this code and paste everything in and now I just want to start number two and give it a second and boom there we are we're live again here using vmix let's save and close this and if I bring vmix up and let's shrink it down so we can see so I'm not sure why oh there it goes um, so you can see everything is coming through fine the same way so that's vmix as well as OBS and that's all the steps that you need to live stream so again in this screen right here you have to hit go live and then it becomes public all right so I hope that helps really straightforward and um, that's it <laughs> so if you like this type of content I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry this is AJ we will see you on the next video later